Hi right, kids. In this video, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about working with the M gears, okay? And you have been given an individual kit of M gears, which comes with all the parts you need for building all sorts of different things, including cars and models of the solar system and stuff like that, okay? And what this video is going to do is give you some of the basics of M gears, okay? Now, when you're working with M gears, these, uh, this building system is like a lot of other building systems, but it is also different from a lot of other building systems, okay? Um, some things are better, some things are not as good as other systems, but it's a decent system, and we can use it a lot in class. Now, a couple things I want to do is introduce you to the parts, okay? This part right here is a pillar, okay? This part is a pillar, okay? And it's almost, it functions like a building block, okay? That's a pillar. This is a six-way axle. And the six-way axle, of course, has a split in it right here. And that is a peg that you can put a gear on, okay? And they, each six-way axle comes with two split pegs on it that you can put gears on, okay? All right, so that is a six-way axle. And the six-way axle, of course, can also connect pillars together, like so, okay? Now, I want to warn you that until your M gears loosen up, they can be hard to get apart, all right? And if you can't get a... a, a a pair or a set of parts separated just let me know and I'll pull them off for you or, or sometimes I will give you a set of pliers and you can pull them off yourself all right so anyways um, those are that's the pillar and the six-way axle then you get a Y axle now the Y axle can also go on to a pillar and it comes with two split pegs also that you can put gears on such as this okay and so there you have another example of connecting gears now remember that you can also put another pillar on there and you could put a six-way axle on there and then you can get your gears set up like that okay so there's how you can get gears connected all right using axles and pillars all right get that off of there put those down another nice item is this right here this is a foot okay it's just like just like it looks it, it's a foot okay and the foot can go on the end of a pillar like that okay so you have a foot we have the axles pillar and a foot another important item is this peg okay and this peg has a split peg right here and that is so that you can put a gear on it like so and then this can go on any of the axles like so. Alright? And then you can use your axles more fully by using the pegs. Then of course you have the gears. You have green gears, you have yellow gears, red gears, gray gears. Alright? And you should have a total of four red gears, two gray gears, five yellow gears and two green gears in your kits all right so that means you have a complete kit there as far as your gears go then you have another type of gear and this is a crown gear okay and the crown gear is kind of neat because if you take a pillar and you attach a pillar to each side of the six-way axle then you take to the split and you put a red gear on there like so and then what you can do is you can take a another six-way axle like so and you can stack your gears 
all right and then once your gears are stacked on there like this you can then take one of these yellow pegs put it on top like that with the crown gear like so and now suddenly this is what you have okay so you can take the rotation that is say going vertically and with the crown gear you can make the rotation go 90 degrees horizontally all right and so that's how those work all right now let's take a look at some of the other parts and the last thing that I want to show you is the wheels okay now these wheels are really nice they're soft they're flexible every kit has four wheels um, when you're using the wheels you cannot put an axle directly on the wheel do not try to force the axle onto the octagon peg you'll only split this part of the wheel and break the wheel what you have to do is you have to put a gear on the square part of the wheel first then you can take an axle and put it on there like so okay so that's one way that you can connect wheels to whatever it is you're building all right so it comes off like that and then you just wiggle that off and another th way you can connect wheels again what you want to do is put a gear on your wheel like so and then you can connect one of the Y axles like so all right and so you can spin it like that and then of course you can put pillars off to the side any way you like like so there you go okay so there's how you can put a wheel on there using the Y axle all right now another way of course is if you take the yellow peg again every wheel if you want to connect it you have to take an, a gear put the square side of the gear on the wheel and then use a split peg in there and again this then can go on to a six way or Y all right so those are the ways you can hook wheels up all right so what I'm gonna do now okay is what you want to do is you want to make sure that you have all of your parts in your kit because we're going to make some items that you're going to test out and gather some data on and one of the things that you're going to do is you're going to take a list of your parts a list of your parts and you're going to count everything if you're missing parts you're going to make a list of what you're missing if you have extra parts you're going to separate them out because somebody might be looking for those parts all right so once you get your booklet and your kit you're then going to inventory your parts and when you have a list of what you need you're going to come get it all right all right so there you go that's your m gears